Welcome to Waterfall Gallery's virtual tour of our current exhibition, Slow Art Asia 2020. The exhibition, Slow Art Asia 2020, encourages audiences to fully experience the works of 11 process-driven contemporary Asian artists. Masters of various unique mediums are featured, such as paintings that are done with mineral pigments or charcoal, and sculptures made of ceramics or tape. Each artist's works are with extremely labor-intensive processes that embrace the Asian roots of both their art forms and themselves. Waterfall has created a precious opportunity for audiences to examine not only the tangible layers that make up a work of art, but also the more conceptual layers it takes to create the final piece. Waterfall will share the process behind each work and discuss the experiences and perceptions as we dissect and unfold the invisible layers of time, process, and histories of each work. Jae Kim Jae Kim makes our life more tasty through the joyful donuts. Jae Kim started to create the series of donuts while going through a period of depression. During that time, he questioned what made him happy and redefined the happiness of his life. One day, he made a connection to the choir singing in harmony at the Brooklyn Tabernacle Church. Looking at the beautiful choir singing together, he wanted to create donuts that were just as colorful and unique. He wishes that people could see each other's beauty within the diverse world. As an artist and a professor, he hopes more people can enjoy and understand the value of art and the importance of culture. As an artist, Jae Young Kim has been living with the model, You Are the Light of the World. He believes creating work that gives joy to people is one of the ways to be the light of the world. Many guests of the gallery are huge fans of the donut series. Often struggling to choose a favorite, they always bring a smile to the face of the viewers. Cheyumi Cheyumi glows light into our soul and reflects true beauty that has been hidden in our hearts. Jayumin's works floods viewers with a reminder of eternity as the light reflects out into a myriad of directions from the splendid gold and mother of pearl latticework. Light has always been a symbol of life and truth to Che, who believes that the color seen within light symbolizes energy, a constant and unchanging force. Che expressly designed the shape of the cubesque structures in her works to capture and reflect as much light as possible and then covered each cube with pure gold plates to bring a warm, peaceful energy to her work and its environment. While the gold symbolizes the unchanging aspects of eternity, the mother of pearl alludes to resilience. Just as the beautiful markings on Mother of Pearl are the result of the arduous process it endures to take form, Che uses the medium to represent how painful experiences are part of what makes humanity so beautiful. Che has dedicated over 20 years of her life to studying and developing her own one-of-a-kind lacquer that allows her to permanently paint on the surface of Mother of Pearl. Once completed, Light fills and unites the empty spaces in Che's work, causing the golden surfaces to continuously reflect one another and create an infinite amount of new spaces and images. To Che, humans imitate such phenomena by assisting and affecting each other's lives while constantly growing, changing, and expanding their inner selves. Song Chur Hong Song Chur Hong opens our eyes to see and examine the interwoven dimensions of our lives in the physical, mental, and emotional. Song Chur Hong uses lines as the main element in his works while also reflecting the regularity of parallel. He turns photographs into three-dimensional works of art, 
by printing the photographs on a series of elastic bands that he then aligns at varying depths. By doing so, he displays both the physical and mental flexibility the viewer can have while observing his works. The broken images interlace and transform to reveal a final image that is incomplete until there is a dynamic interaction of the viewer. Through these engaging three-dimensional works, Hong attempts to unveil the virtual object through his use of distorted and fragmented imagery resulting in stunning visual effects. Krista Kim Krista Kim creates space for us to pause, rest, and breathe in order to retrieve our inner strength. Krista Kim is a contemporary artist and founder of the art movement Techism, which promotes the confluence of art and technology by utilizing technological innovation as a medium to further the development of digital humanism. Kim invented and developed her own paint with the digital images of LED lights and manipulates them using multiple software to create her artwork. This new paint came about as she was going through a personal hardship in the early stage of her artist's life. At that time, the only thing that helped her to get through was daily meditation. During the meditation, the light was an element that inspired her to reimagine her own artwork. As a trained painter, she was able to develop her own paint with LED lights. Through her work, she invites the audience to pause, rest, and breathe to retrieve their inner strength. Sun Cakewalk Sun Cakewalk brings us into new light, new air, and new direction, which we can never imagine. Sun Cakewalk's handsaw mark in 16 beats celebrates her journey as an artist with her signature medium, masking tape. She began using masking tape during her college years. Although it is considered an expendable item, Sun found a significance in the medium that made it just as valuable as the highest grade of paint. As she was going around different boroughs to exhibit, she collected various rolls of tape from hardware stores throughout Brooklyn, New York. She used a 16-bit handsaw to carve and shape the tape. And with surprise, the shadow that the piece creates takes on the similar contour as the New York skyline. Sunkei Kwok's Peeling Appealing was originated from a vision she acquired during a time of meditation. She envisioned a stream of water falling from above like a waterfall and captured that image on the panel using tape. For this work, Sun applied the tape on ceramic panels, drew the image, and hand cut the image that was drawn. Sun extends her vision through this work for the viewers to be inspired. Sunkai Kwok's space drawing is comprised of simple masking tape which transforms spaces into new pictorial realities. Full of dynamic energy that mingles and flows, Sun creates a space of limitless wonder and possibilities. Ignite, a project in Waterfalls Elevator, is a new addition to Sun's notable space drawing series. For this piece, Sun utilizes paint in the surrounding mirrored environment as mediums to transform the moving elevator space into a new pictorial reality. Li Jun Wu's works and its visible textures with layered charcoal, paper, and time draws us into a stillness in which we examine our inner selves. His process of pouring, scraping, hitting, pounding, and layering is physically revealed through the textures, subtle imageries, and the volume of his artwork. Li poured his effort as much as he could even working for 18 hours a day without having a break. He genuinely and humbly worked hard with the materials of charcoal and hanji paper. Through intense physical labor, 
Lee negates a certain formal intention in order to channel his energy into the process of making art. His work is intuitive and open, and always untitled. For Lee, the artistic discipline is not a purpose in itself, but a channel of meditation where he creates his work in long periods of development, thus becoming a philosophy of life. Lee consciously uses charcoal to generate visual and mental landscapes that echo the origin and end of a man's existence. He believes that a person has an inner self other than a socializing one which is not even shown to family or close friends. Through the process of creating artwork, Lee is in dialogue with his inner self. Lee believes that his inner self and the outer self merge within the process of creation. Lee says, there must be a deeper existence than our cognition in each person. Most people, including me, have wounds and hurts, and the way to recover is found within oneself. Lee hopes that people are able to meet their deepest part and be healed, as that is the reason why he is creating the artwork. Jinwan Chang seeks to visualize true beauty, the concept of invisibility, and the spiritual journey through his work. Shedding of light visualizes light and water which originated in the time of creation. We always think that we see light, however if light does not reflect on an object, we cannot actually see the light. Chang seeks to imagine the light that God created and visualize it like the living water, the flowing streams, the matter that opposes the darkness, or the hope within our troublesome time. As he continues his pursuit of ultimate truth, he creates all of his pieces with the underlying idea that his works are not his own, but rather pieces of truth that are translated through his life. In this way, he views himself more as a vessel than a creator and believes that art is one of the most effective methods of sharing eternal truth with others. For Chang, art is just as much a matter of listening and suppressing as it is a matter of speaking and self-expressing. Shi Grori's photography works are best known for the time-consuming and laborious process of using the camera of Obscura. Residing in Catskills, New York, where he has built a camera Obscura from using a box truck and a tent, he will remain on location for up to hours and sometimes days. The real turning point in his life to use the camera Obscura came in 1998 when he survived a tragic car accident. He lost a close friend, and in a flash, his life and art were forever altered. It made me slow down and realize how fleeting life is, he said. It really affected the way I see boundlessness and infinity of nature, what's permanent and what might not be. The pinhole process suited his shift in perspective since 2002. Light enters the enclosed space through a tiny pinhole that projects a direct image onto light-sensitive photographic paper. The artist remains inside the camera during the entire exposure, which lasts hours or even days. The resulting unique gelatin silver print has a depth of field that the human eye could not otherwise register and see on its own. Shigeru Ruiz is interested in how they are faithful portraits of pure light and time, and emphasizes the timelessness and sweeping expanse of each place. His contemporary images draw upon both ancient Chinese traditions and American landscape painting traditions reflecting Cole's legacy and the natural landscape today. Makoto Fujimura, Walking on Water Makoto Fujimura creates, connects, and cultivates culture through his artwork, speeches, and writings that are transcendent yet practical and essential in our daily lives. The Walking on Water series 
began in 2011 after seeing the disaster resulting from the Great Tohoku earthquake in Japan. It was a devastating experience for an entire village, a fishing village, all washed away with elementary schools, with boats turned upside down on rooftops, and it was just an unforgettable scene for Fujimura. After coming back, he started a series called Walking on Water as an elegy to the victims of the disaster, and began to process as an artist to ask a question, can we walk on water? This was an impossible question to ask, yet an important question in times of crisis to process what people were going through. Walking on Water, Grace and Waves is a series of paintings to ask if such an impossibility can coexist with our processing and how we can gain hope even in the midst of trauma and enormous sense of loss. The painting is designed to confuse how we might position ourselves looking at the work. It is literally to carry us through a moment of crisis and bring us to a state of healing. Once we are disoriented, we're not quite sure if we're standing over the painting, looking at the horizon, or looking above. And when that perspective shift happens, the work can start to speak to the unsettling reality of our times and even bring peace in that process. Fujimoto donated this work to Waterfall Arts Foundation as a prayer and also for the viewers to experience peace and hope in the quiet of the space. Lee Sun Hee directs us to reflect our lives through the lens of curiosity and imagination. Lee Sun Hee's works transformed the purpose of ceramics and highlighted the beauty of historical ceramic pieces as he brought 3D objects into 2D ceramic paintings. Lee has an unusual approach to ceramics where he recreates famous examples of Joseon Dynasty porcelain onto ceramic tiles. In a genius format, he is able to duplicate these images of fine porcelain onto ceramic tiles while replicating and retaining their original beauty. Lee's bamboo works also reveal his ability to embody the flexibility in ceramics. Lee was surprised that others may view ceramics as something that is fragile and rigid, particularly because the clay he touches in his workshop is what he describes as being soft and friendly. Exploring the extent of space within pieces of 8mm thick surfaces, Lee layers, bends, and scratches his pieces in order to illustrate the capabilities of ceramics not visible to us after it is hardened. As Lee considers the color of clay is manipulated by light, Lee literally plays with fire to obtain the varying range of colors we see. Allowing us to comprehend the full beauty and range of ceramics, Lee's works embodies the versatility of this medium as well as the proficiency and genius of Lee, stating that a piece of paper without image or text is not empty, but feels like something that is ready to be filled. Lee saturates his works with his love, talent, and care, and fires pieces of his soul into the clay itself. Hiroko Otake invites us to keep the dream of seeing beauty, care, and love in our world. Hiroko Otake works with the traditional Japanese painting technique, Nihonga, and mixes mineral rock pigments with other natural materials such as silk, metal leaves, and animal glue to create delicately layered scenes of butterflies and flowers on various forms of Japanese paper. She embraces the unique characteristics of each material, such as the different surface textures of the pigments, which can vary depending on their color. The real silver and gold leaf in her works are strategically used as symbolic representations of life and human nature as the silver will inevitably change appearances over time while the gold will remain constant and unchanged. Hiroko commonly works with a motif of butterflies and flowers as she resonates with the ephemeral nature of these things, 
specifically incorporating the butterflies in order to symbolize the human soul and mind. Just as butterflies undergo metamorphosis and evolve from eggs to caterpillars to chrysalis before entering their final state, humans also enter various stages of life that are vital in helping us evolve into wiser and more beautiful, complex versions of ourselves. Waterfall encourages viewers to engage with our virtual tour, which will deepen the understanding of the artists and their artworks in a manner that will transform the perspectives of our lives.